What's going on, everybody? I hope you're enjoying your hump day Wednesday afternoon so far. This is MYG Jeffy T85 here, and I'm just bringing you a quick news story surrounding the Brooklyn Nets and their general manager, Sean Marks. Now, we all know that Sean Marks is under a long-term deal with the Brooklyn Nets, but after the trades that happened during the trade deadline involving Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, it made Sean Marks' tenure with the Brooklyn Nets maybe a little bit more shaky, and there could have been a possibility that the Brooklyn Nets could have moved away from Sean Marks after this season. Well, according to Brian Lewis of the New York Post, Nets GM Sean Marks is expected to return next season, and he, the ownership has full confidence in the front office that Sean Marks can continue to build this team into the type of vision and rebuild this team to get back into some type of prominence and that they believe Sean Marks could still turn this Brooklyn Nets team into a good team next year. Am I surprised by this? No, because I think the Brooklyn Nets want to have some continuity. Because if you fire Sean Marks and you don't bring him back, <clears throat> you're going to bring in a new general manager and then you already signed... Jacques Vaughn to a long-term deal through 2016 or 2026-2027. You fire the general manager and you bring in a whole different guy. We know what the deal is. The new general manager is going to want to bring in his own head coach, get his own players, and then this whole entire process that you have, it's going to make Jacques Vaughn into a lame duck coach. So I think that's one of the reasons why the Brooklyn Nets are going to try to stick it out a little bit longer with Sean Marks, and they're going to allow him to try to throw his vision out there to, you know, get the most out of this Brooklyn Nets team going into the future. It just would make very little sense at this point to really change general managers. Just see how Sean Marks can do this upcoming offseason. You're going to have a first-round draft pick. You're going to have an opportunity to see if you can continue to retool this team. You got a couple of players that are going to be free agents after this year, including Cam Johnson, who's a restricted free agent after this year, as well as guys like Seth Curry, who are going to be unrestricted free agents. So you can really decide on what you're going to do with them. Go explore the trade market to see how you can upgrade this roster going into 2022, 2023, 2024. <clears throat> and by giving by ownership giving full confidence in Sean Marks. He can really continue to try and see if he can help rebuild this team into more of what his ultimate vision is for next season. In terms of what type of team he's going to be putting together, well, we're going to have to find it out as we go through the process in the 2023 offseason. Like I said, the Brooklyn Nets have been a, tra a few trapeze artists and human cannibals short of a circus for the past two seasons. This is from Brian Lewis which is the absolute truth. It literally has been an absolute circus for the past four years. Uh, but they aren't going to move on from the ringleader just yet. Sean Marks is expected to return as the organization's general manager next season with the highly placed league source telling him the ownership with the highly placed league source telling him that ownership has full confidence in that front office to build for the future. <clears throat> Pretty much saying Joe Sy has confidence that if you give Sean Marks the time to rebuild this organization into his brand, into what he's looking for, he's going to be able to build this team in his own image, much like he did originally when he was hired as general manager back in 2016, when he acquired Joe Harris, when he got Spencer Dinwiddie, when he traded for D'Angelo Russell, when he got Karis LeVert and Jared Allen, he was able to draft Nicholas Claxton, he got all these young players in, he drafted Cam Thomas, drafted De'Ron Sharp, you know, made all these moves which enticed a Kyrie Irving and a Kevin Durant to Brooklyn. They're going to allow Sean Marks to pretty much do what he did back in 2016, do it again in 2023 to see if he could strike gold twice. And the Nets already have good young players in place 
going forward with this Brooklyn Nets team. You already got Michael Bridges under contract for the next few years. You just signed Nicholas Claxton to an extension this offseason. You still have Cam Thomas. You could obviously re-sign Cam Johnson this offseason to a new deal. <laughs> You still got Dorian Finney-Smith for the next few years. You could obviously supplement some players through the draft. You could bring in some free agents this offseason. You got Edmund Sumner back. You got Yuta Watanabe back. So you could trade for some players this offseason. Obviously draft some players, young players to the team. So you still have more room to grow with this roster in 2023. So I don't mind them letting Sean Marks continue to steer the ship with this team because he's already proven as horrible as it went for four years with the Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant experiment. We still have Ben Simmons, unfortunately, on the roster, who is right now being wasted, being injured pretty much the whole season. But Sean Marks has already had his opportunity to build this team once before, and he did an excellent job by getting all those good young players through the draft, free agency, and through trade to entice superstars to come here. You've got to allow Sean Marks to do it again. <clears throat> this is my opinion. If you disagree, I understand. But at the same time, you are putting your head coach in a really bad predicament if you fire Sean Marks. Because like I said, he's the one that signed Jacques Vaughn to a long-term deal. You fire Sean Marks, you bring in a new general manager, you are putting Jacques Vaughn in a lame duck scenario. And you don't know if this new GM is going to look at some of these pieces he has on this team and decide to trade them away and get them out of here because they're not part of his image going forward. And what at least I've seen, I think this Nets team has talent. We spoke about this last night on the Heart of the City podcast. Myself, Coach Ed Gladney's Amazing World of Sports, Unpopular Opinion Sports, NYG22, Big fan breezy of the Brooklyn Nets vlog. We all talked about this last night. And YG doesn't think the team is as talented or they still need to continue to build. Some of us think this team is as talented as we might think they are. You have pieces on this team right now to build th forward towards. Continue to supplement. But I'm more thinking about the head coach as well and why it would just be irresponsible to fire your general manager because it hurts your head coach. <laughs> so I'm willing to let Sean Marks continue to run this team and to continue to build this team going forward. And then after that, we can judge to see if we want to have Sean Marks continue to stick it out as the Brooklyn Nets general manager after next season. But I want to see what he can do to help continue to improve this basketball team, not just in 2022, I mean 2023, but beyond. Because Sean Marks has already been capable, as much as we've all destroyed him, and rightly so, for the job that he did, and the mess that he did with Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, James Harden, Ben Simmons, etc., we have to give him praise for the job he did before in building this Nets team into the type of team that entice superstars to come here. But you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about the New York Post saying that Nets GM Sean Marks will be back next year to oversee the rebuild with this Brooklyn Nets team and to see if they can continue to improve on where the Nets are right now, which is the sixth place in the Eastern Conference heading into the playoffs in about 20 or so games. Hit that like button, give a sub to NYG Jeffy T85 for more news updates and chatter surrounding the Brooklyn Nets. And you guys let me know in the comment section what you think about this news about Sean Marks coming back next year and if you believe it's the right decision for him to be the one to oversee this Brooklyn Nets team going into the 2023 offseason and the 2023-2024 NBA season. Thank you very much. Enjoy your hump day Wednesday. Take it easy and let's go Brooklyn Nets. It's a Nets world and we're all just living in it.